What a pleasure it is to uh, spend some time with the athletics director at the University of Hawaii, David Matlin. David, congratulations on getting to the Mountain West Championship game. What does this do for your football program to get to the highest stage there is in the Mountain West? Well, thank you first. Uh, it's huge. I mean, this is something we haven't done before. I mean, playing in the Mountain West Championship game. It's been a great season, Coach Rolovich and the team. It's obviously a goal to get here, yeah. and we're excited to be coming back to Boise for a second time. Here for the first time in, in a championship game, and led by Coach Rolovich, the Mountain West Coach of the Year. He's got so much energy. He's always willing to do whatever it takes to make sure that, that Hawaii is getting noticed. What's it like to be his boss and have him leading your football program? It's entertaining most of the time. Yeah. Sometimes a little nervous, yeah. <laughs> but Nick, Nick does a great job. You know, he, he's a Hawaii guy. He played, he played football there. He has a reason for being there. He's done a phenomenal job. And you look at the team, the culture, it's all about culture. He's done a great job with the culture. He's great at promoting not just, not, not just the football program, but the whole athletic program as well as the university in the state of Hawaii. He has a lot of love for Hawaii, and, um, you know, he's done a great job for us. You touched on two key things there in my time in Honolulu. I've, I've understood a couple of things. One, him being a Hawaii guy is big, and two, culture. What does this mean to the people on the islands that Hawaii is back playing an exciting brand of football, and they're winning? Yeah, I mean, Nick's done a phenomenal job. But we're, we're exciting, and, uh, and we're you know, on a first four-game winning streak since 2010, first back-to-back -back goal game since 2007 and 8. In this game for the first time, he's coach of the year. So a lot of firsts under Nick, and, and this is year four. Um, People are excited, they're, they're pumped up. It's also kind of, one good thing about Nick is, the day before we played Army, he, he stopped by the volleyball game, we had a sellout, and our women's volleyball team's hosting the NCAAs this weekend too, so we're gonna be sold out there. Uh, Nick's great with our other coaches too, but people in Hawaii are excited. We have a lot of them here right now yeah. that are gonna enjoy the game. And things get even better for your program in that there, there are great prospects on the horizon that a new stadium is coming. How close are you to getting that done? Yeah, we're really excited about it. Um, we have the money uh, for it. Uh, we are in, in entering the uh, environmental impact study part of that. Uh, and even, I think, in the next two weeks, Nick and I are going to be meeting with um, uh, the stadium and the people to give some of our requirements, some of our expect, you know, what we think we need. Uh, I would say, you know, it's 2023 to 2024, 25, um, be in the same location in La Lava. So we're real excited about that. That will be a game changer for us. Exciting time at the University of Hawaii and the football program. Thanks. That's David Matlin, the Athletics Director at the University of Hawaii.